Okay guys, welcome back. Today I have a fun game that you can play with using two um, dice, or what I call dot cubes in the classroom, and then some pennies. So I found six pennies at home, just lying around. If you don't have any dice, you can always take some cards and just write numbers on them, like one, two, three, four, five, six. You could do it that way too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll both of them. Okay, and then I'm going to pick the bigger number, which, which one is my bigger number? Yeah, they're both the same, so I'm just going to pretend this one's bigger. I have four, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four pennies. I'm going to put those away over here, and then I'm going to take that many away. One, two, three, four. So take them away. One, two, three, four. Okay, how many do I have left? None. Okay, let me try another one. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I got the same number again? Okay, so I'm gonna pretend this one's the bigger number. So I need how many pennies? One, two, three, four, five. And how many am I taking away? Five. One, two, three, four, five. How many pennies do I have left? Yep, none, zero. Okay, let me try it again. I better not get doubles. Otherwise, I need to buy a lottery ticket. Okay, good. So, which one's the bigger number? Yeah, Mr. Five. So, I need five pennies. One, two, three, four, five. And this one's the smaller number, so I'm going to take that many pennies away. How many are left? One, two, three, four. Good job. Let's do another one. Seriously, here we go. Yep, he's the bigger number. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, get over here, five. How many am I taking away? One. Okay, let's do one more. Keep getting the same. Okay, good, yay! So he's bigger, five is bigger than three. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five pennies. And how many am I taking away? Three of them. One, two, three. How many pennies do I have left? Yep, two. Good job, so this is something that you can play with at home. And you don't have to use pennies. You can use anything. You can use Legos, beans, macaroni. Okay, so let's get our lesson ready. And let's start by writing our name. Now you can use pencil so that if you make a mistake, you can erase. I'm going to use crayons so that you can see my answers. And I think today I'm going to use purple. Here we go. So write your name. Now, I see a bunch of words. These are called word problems. And did you know, boys and girls, that word problems scare people? Can you believe that? I know, they, they don't look scary to me. It scares people because it's a lot of words with numbers and you have to think about it. That's all. But today I am going to show you how to do these problems so that it's not so scary. And you're gonna be like, what? This is a piece of cake. And what you're going to learn today is something that you can do when you go to first grade, second grade, third grade, high school, college, you can use it all the rest of your life. It's going to be a lifesaver. You ready? So the directions say, listen to the subtraction problem, draw a picture to match, and then write the answer. And I love that because sometimes grown-ups forget to draw the picture and then they have no idea what to do. I think that's why it's so scary. They forget the little stuff. So here we go. Just like the other day, whenever I say a number, I want you to say stop, and then we'll all stop, and we'll circle the number, okay? And then when we're done, we'll think about the picture. 
Here we go. There are six, stop. Yep, let's all circle Mr. Six. There are six frogs in the pond. Oh, there's a period, period means stop. So what do we know so far? Yeah, there are six frogs, where are they? Yeah, they're in the pond. Okay, got it, let's go on. Two, stop. Yep, let's circle him, he's important. Two frogs hop away. There's our period, so let's stop right there. So what do we know? Yeah, we know that two of those frogs hopped away. How many are left? So you and I have to be a detective. We have to figure out how many frogs are left. So we listen to the problem. The next step we're going to do is draw a picture to match. Now, if you are thinking, I don't know how to draw frogs, I'm not a good illustrator, that's okay, persevere. I am going to make circles for the frogs because I know how to draw a circle. Here we go. So let's go back. You can see the numbers already. We have a six and we have a two. So there are six frogs in the pond. So let's draw six circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these froggies were in the pond. Now, how many frogs hopped away? Yeah, two. Should I draw two more circles? No. It's talking about these frogs, this group of six. I am not going to add two more circles. I'm going to take two of these frogs and cross them out to show that they hopped away, okay? So here we go. So I pick this frog hopped away and this frog hopped away. Those are my two, okay? Now, how many frogs are left? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Yep, four frogs are left. Good job. Okay, let's go on to the next one. You ready? Here we go. Remember, say stop when I say a number. There are eight, stop. Yep, let's circle him. Eight pigs in the mud. There's our period. So let's stop and think about what we just read. What are we talking about now? Yep, eight pigs are in the mud. Four, stop. Four pigs get out of the mud. So what happened to four of those pigs? They got out of the mud. They didn't come and join them. They got out. They left. How many are left? So here we go. We listen to the problem. Now let's draw a picture to match. So how many were, pigs were in the mud? Eight. So I'm just going to draw eight circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, check. We did that. Let's look at our next number. Four pigs get out of the mud. So here's the mud. How many are getting out of the mud? Four. So let's cross out four of them. Any, it doesn't matter, okay? One got out of the mud. Two, three got out of the mud. Four. I picked those four. So how many are left? Let's count them. One, two, three, four are left. Good job. Okay, let's go to the next one. I'm going to move it up just a little bit. There are seven, stop. 
chickens in the coop. So what do we know? Yeah, there are seven chickens and they're in the coop. It's like their home. Five, stop. Chickens fly away. How many are left? So we know that there are seven chickens in the coop. So let's draw our seven chickens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna put a little X because I already did that one. Got it. Okay. How many fly away? Five. So here we go. Any five, it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so how many are left? Yeah, two. Okay, next one. There are nine, stop, dogs in the yard. Nine doggies, got it. Four, stop, dogs go inside. How many are left? So, how many dogs are in the yard playing? Yep, nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And how many went inside? Four. One, two, three, four. Maybe they were hungry or thirsty and needed some water. So how many dogs are left outside? One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. This was fun. See, there's nothing scary. You just have to circle the numbers, read it, draw a picture, and just think about it. Okay, here we go, fluency. This is just practice, just review. So I'm going to start by writing my name. And we are going to circle the first number. So we know that's what we're starting with, okay? Okay, here we go. How many fingers? One. Okay, so show me one finger. Take away zero. Yep, I already did. It means nothing. So how many fingers are left? One. Let's go to the next one. How many fingers? Three. Okay, so we're starting with three. Take away two. One, two. What do you have left? Yeah, one. Let's go to the next one. How many fingers is he holding? Or she? Four. How many are we taking away? Three. Any three fingers. Here we go. One, two, three. Yep, one is left. How many fingers? Four. And how many are we taking away? Yep, just one. Okay, what do you have left? Three. Whoa, that's a whole hand. Five. And how many are we taking away? Yep, zero. None. So how many are left? Just five. How many fingers? Three. Take away three. So let's take away three. One, two, 
three. How many are left? Zero. I'm going to push mine up a little bit. Okay. Two. Take away how many? Zero. Bam. I didn't take any away. Nope. So I have two left. And the last one. Five again. How fun. And how many are we taking away? Let's take two fingers away. One, two. Those are easy for me. How many do I have left? One, two, three. There we go. Good job today, especially because we worked on subtraction word problems, which are very scary to people, but you guys did amazing. I just love it. Look at how colorful. Now, if you want to go back and make some details on your frogs, your pigs, your chickens, or your dogs, you are more than welcome to do so. See you soon.